Hello, my name is Paul Van Hall. I'm the manufacturing instructor at Riverside Community College. The manufacturing pro program is growing rapidly. And we've got some new software and new programs that we want to show you today. I'd like to introduce you to Michael Bunting. Uh, he's one of my students that is taking the Mastercam 10 class. And Mastercam is a program that we use to uh, basically draw up a part and then take the code that it produces out to the machine and be able to produce a part within hours instead of months that it used to take using conventional methods. It's all about automated manufacturing and automated machining. Mike, tell us a little bit about what's on the screen here. Well, what's on the screen is uh, the part that I'm holding in my hand, computer drawing that shows the outline, the geometry of the part that I have in my hand. So the green lines represent the geometry of the part. Once I hit this button here, it basically applies a toolpath to the part uh, with some other work that you've previously done, but what do the blue lines represent and the yellow lines represent? The blue and the yellow lines represent the path that the milling process will, will take in order to produce this part that I have in my hand. Okay. Now, another advantage that Mastercam gives us is it will produce and show us exactly how the part's going to look before we actually take it out to the machine. It's really amazing because we get a solid model of the part before we take it out to the machine. And if I just click on this button right here, it's called the Verify Program. And once I hit play, it shows what the, part, what the cutter is going to do as it cuts out the part. What would this be doing right now, Mike? Well, what we see, first of all, was the drilling of the four holes. Next, after it's drilled the holes, uh, it will then cut the part out. It will mill the part that I have in my hand. And what it does is it gives you an, I, an opportunity to see what the machine is going to do. Uh, and if there's any mistakes or you need to go back and do any, any corrections, it would allow you to do it here in this two-pathing process before you actually cut the part on the machine. Wow, this is really neat stuff. And by the way, the transferability of this class is really great. We've got uh, Cal Poly Pomona and Cal State Los Angeles, both uh, Cal States in our area that are teaching uh, engineering and manufacturing and this all applies to engineering because it's all about automated manufacturing getting a part done really fast. Thanks for all your help Mike. You're welcome Paul. One of the machines that you're going to be using here at Riverside Community College is known as a Haas milling machine. A mill has three axes of movement. You've got your X axis going left and right, your Y axis going in and out, and your z-axis going up and down. One of the classes that you might be taking is known as the CNC Setup and Operations class. And that class will uh, teach you how to set up the tool heights, set up your fixture positions, and how to attach parts to the machine. Another class that you might be taking is a Mastercam class. And that uses automatic methods of programming this machine. Basically, once you, you take and you draw your geometry within Mastercam, and then you show the uh, Mastercam how the part would be cut out and you produce the code and that code we would just take it out to the machine using a floppy disk put it onto the machine and that would drive the machine each step of whatever you wanted to have it do. Another class that you might be taking is a manual programming class and that manual programming class will get you used to reading and writing the code that is used by the machine. 
Another machine you might be using while at Riverside Community College is known as the, the Haas CNC lathe. If you go to a typical machine shop where you might be making anywhere from $15 to $25 an hour, you'll notice that about 20 people might be working there. But if you look around, only two of the people that might be working there would know really how to program and use this machine really well. In the Manufacturing 57 class, we go through how to read and write the code for this machine step by step and get it, get it to actually do its wonders uh, within the, that class. Another aspect of using this machine or uh, of maintaining this machine is an automated systems technician. One of the programs we're offering or we're planning on offering soon is an automatic, automated systems technician certificate. And within that certificate, you'll be learning about fluid power, hydraulics, pneumatics, programmable logic controls, and it's a wonderful way to get out in industry and be able to maintain and develop new machinery and basically do machine design, engineering, and much, much more. Another machine that we have here at Riverside Community College is a three-dimensional laser scanner. And it uses a laser similar to what you would use in the construction, construction industry that you might be using for measurement to measure off each aspect of this very complex part. We then take that complex measurement and we put it onto a computer in a three-dimensional model using SolidWorks or another uh, computer program. We then take that computer program and we put it onto our, rap our rapid prototyping machine and that rapid prototyping machine can make the part any size you want, either scale it down or make it larger and it will layer by layer create this part in three dimensions. Isn't this amazing? It's very similar to what you might see on Star Trek with their new replicators that they have on Star Trek. Here's our rapid prototyping machine at Riverside Community College and a rapid prototyping machine does layers, layers of part or layers of plastic onto a table. It shoots layers of plastic onto a table to build a part such as this or to build the frog that we had just seen in our previous machine. And it layers it out and you can get very, very complex geometry. Our robotics classes will teach you how to program these machines. Well, we'll we're going to teach you how to operate, how to program, and even how to maintain and fix these machines, and maybe even how to develop new ones. I would like to introduce you to two students that uh, took the robotics camp. Hi, I'm Michelle, and this is my partner, Patrice, and we both worked on our robot together. Our purpose of our robot is to help pick up things so it'll scoop up stuff, and then you can make it. Well, we haven't exactly got it to drop out yet, but. I'll show that off to the camera. Let's see what that thing looks like is the robot. Oh, we made the shovel on the computer and then it went into the machine. So it made that part layer by layer on a rapid prototyping machine? Yes. We drew it in one day and took it to the rapid prototype machine and it made the part in one night. So what else does your robot do? Well, if you program it, it goes forward, backwards, rotates, and it uh, rotates both ways. Yeah, it has, this is the sensor right here, and then this is the beeper. Buzzer. Yeah. It's all new and evolving at Riverside Community College.